they got all these diagnoses for these mental illness. But really, you know, because they got schizophrenia, bipolar, and, you know, they name these and they give you these titles of these diagnoses of these mental illness. But really, for black people, it's only one mental illness, man. And it come from slavery. You can call it bipolar. You can call it schizophrenia. You can call it whatever you want to call it. That don't matter. You can call it whatever you want to call it. It's on uh, post-traumatic syndrome. It's really post-traumatic slavery syndrome, for real. Because, you know, when you know, if, 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 if you just keep hitting, hitting the child or something, the baby gonna be scared of you. You know what I'm saying? You keep hollering at it and all that, the baby gonna be scared of you to the point. It's not gonna be able to function. The spirit of the other baby gonna be, you know, cowardly it's gonna be gone and this is what has happened they beat black people for so long that the spirit the soul is still there but the spirit is gone the spirit gone y'all can uh clown all you want uh holy ghost in church and all that you can do all that all you want but you know a totally defeated people. That, that's what it is, family. And the mental illness, because schizophrenia, now I know this for a fact, it's a lot of people in my family that got schizophrenia, right? And bipolar. And they got these mystic characters that they talk to. You see what I'm saying? Which is, Possession, schizophrenia, and bipolar. It's, you know, certain people that see that. I don't know if y'all made that connection. It's possession, man. It's the same thing that the possess. If you go look at, uh, ain't the, ain't the movie called Possess? And she in the bed, her head spinning, and, and she all that green shit coming out of her mouth. And, but she talking to some, she talking. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what the schizophrenic people do. They talk to the air, man. And, 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 and these people real to them. You can't tell me that they ain't talking to somebody. Because to them, they talking to somebody. You see what I'm saying? But the people that's possessed exorcism and all that, that's possessed, they... Do the same thing as the schizophrenic people do. But black people, yo, have these two, three diseases right there. Post-traumatic, schizophrenia, and bipolar. All of that stem from slavery. Rape, death, murder, killing, beating, burning, looting. You see what I'm saying? That took a toll on black people mind mentally. So a lot of these people, he is really crazy, man. Facts. A lot every time straight up that I done had my life threatened, it's been by my own people. But by me knowing that they mentally ill, I know, you know, it's not for them. I can't blame them. Because some people sick minded, man. They long gone. If you know what I'm saying. I see a lot of black people walking around and they be walking down the street. It might be 80 degrees outside and they got a coat on. Or they be walking down the street talking to them ghosts or whoever they talking to, whatever they talking to. I'm talking about the people that got schizophrenia and then the people that got um bipolar where they two different people. You see what I'm saying? 
uh, Sasha, Beyonce and Sasha Fierce. That's bipolar. Polarity. There's nothing wrong with polarity. But bipolarism is more, you know, where it's two people in one body. You see what I'm saying? Where it's two people in one body. That's bipolar. You see what I'm saying? When you trying to... Oh, and people that got um, uh, bleach-ism. They be bleachy. They bipolar. They who they are, but they want to be somebody else. Or they see themselves as somebody else. You see what I'm saying? They black, but they see themselves as white people. You see what I'm saying? So, that's bipolar. You see what I'm saying? To where it's two or sometimes three different people living inside. That's possession, man. That's possession. Because that's the exact same thing that they do with the exorcist. They be having demons inside them. Y'all ain't looking at it right. Y'all ain't looking at it right. Y'all looking at it as a medical thing. Yes. Yes, it's a medical thing, but it stems from slavery, burnings, beatings, and lynchings for three, four hundred, three hundred and fifty years. You're going to have some definitely serious problems. Now, I heard a story one time where uh, a white soldier, he was over there, Iraq, in that war, but he got captured, right? And he was captured, I think, maybe it was for five years. And, you know, the the mental diseases that stem from him being in captivity, they didn't make him work in the hot sun. They didn't beat him. They didn't, um, uh, you know, degrade him. They fed him. They did, you know, that he just was a, a prisoner of war. He was a POW. But after five years of being a POW, not being beat, being fed every day, you know, being basically taken care of, but you just can't go nowhere. You captive. He, the psychologist and the doctors said he would suffer from um all these different type of mental issues, and some of the mental issues is like um he he wouldn't be able to urinate correctly. He won't be able to uh, post traumatic where he won't be able to sleep correctly where he got uh narcolepsy and shit like that and nightmare terror nightmares and all that um that he would uh have eating disorders you see, his memory would be distorted on what you know what really happened you know what i'm saying he would get some slight amnesia at times just for being captive for five years facts where he gonna have eating disorders, he gonna have, you know, where he skip, where he talking to his certain things, he gonna have flashbacks. You see what I'm saying? He can't urinate properly and can't sleep right. And, you know, he gonna have trouble on his job being able to keep focused. And after five years, he got all of those conditions was gonna be wrong with him. After 400 years of captivity in the Americas. We getting beat, getting fed slop, getting burned, demigrated, desecrated, and everything. How do you think what black people's mind will be today? Because that's, that's, that's mental illness. That's mental illness. That's going to create a lot of mental If it created all of that in five years, what you think it did to black people in 400 years? That's going to create some mental illnesses. And it still lingers with black people to this day. Facts. And it, it's the people that done it to the black people, they got a mental illness too. And it's called conquering. Okay. So y'all like, subscribe, I remember this time, subscribe to the channel and I'll be back family, chop out.